This video will give an overview of ORCID and other researcher identifiers. As researchers, it is critical that work be properly identified and tied to the right individual. With more academic articles being published than ever before and more co-authorship, there is a need to be able to identify authors correctly. This requires a unique identifier for each author that can be used to link their publications. This can be done using research identifiers. These are unique numeric codes assigned to an author to establish an unambiguous scholarly identity to which all contributions can be linked and attribution for one's work is certain. Research identifiers help to distinguish between authors with similar or identical names, avoiding the common problem of author misidentification. They also capture differences in spelling and changes in names and affiliations over a researcher's career. This ensures that one's scholarly identity travels with them from one place of employment to another and grows to represent additional experience and contributions during one's career. Having a research identifier is helpful to avoid filling in author and bibliographic data repeatedly in different systems maintained by different stakeholders in the research ecosystem. For example, the author's institution, the funding agency providing research support, and the publisher handling the outputs from the research project. Various identifiers exist for authors and scholars. These include Scopus Author Identifier, Researcher ID from Thomson Reuters, and ORCID. However, most of these work only at the level of a given national, propriety, or disciplinary system. For the rest of this video, we will focus on the researcher identifier ORCID. ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID. It is an international, interdisciplinary, non-profit organization allowing researchers to attain a unique and persistent digital identifier. A key benefit of ORCID is that it helps solve name ambiguity in research and scholarly communications by creating a central registry of unique identifiers for individual researchers. Here are some good reasons why you should use ORCID. ORCID protects your unique scholarly identity. By using the 16-digit numeric identification number, ORCID solves any author name problems that may arise from similarity in names, change of name, or change of affiliation. The numbers assigned to authors are stored in a central registry, which connects to research infrastructures to ensure that people find the correct author and authors get credit for all their publications. Setting up an ORCID record literally takes only 30 seconds plus. If you've published before, you are likely already have a researcher ID or Scopus author ID, which means that you can easily connect information from those systems to your ORCID record. ORCID supports 37 types of works, from articles to dance performances. So, whether you are a traditional scientist who writes only papers and the occasional book chapter, or whether you are a cutting-edge computational biologist who releases data sets and figures for your thesis, you can use ORCID whenever you deposit or publish your work to ensure you get credit. ORCID is getting big fast. Even if you haven't yet encountered ORCID, you will likely soon. The number of ORCID users grew tenfold in 2013 and continues to grow daily. You're likely to encounter ORCID IDs more and more often on journal websites, funding applications when you complete your thesis or the next time you submit a conference abstract. ORCID IDs are being integrated into a wide range of information systems, from proposal submission systems and journal manuscript submission systems to faculty profile databases and university research tracking systems. ORCID is the glue for all your research services. Through embedding itself in key workflows, ORCID has been set up to act as the glue between all the other identifier systems in operation and the research ecosystem. You can easily push information back and forth between services, meaning that a complete ORCID record will allow you to automatically import the same information to multiple places rather than having to enter the same information over and over again on different levels. You control who can view what information. If you are concerned about the privacy implications, ORCID has granular privacy controls. So, when setting up your ORCID record, 
you can select privacy settings to show as much or as little information to the public as desired. The underlying principle of ORCID is that the author is in charge of his or her own ORCID record. So why not distinguish yourself in three easy steps? Go to www.orchid.org and register and get your unique ORCID identifier. Add your information. You can enhance your ORCID record with your professional information and link to your other identifiers such as Scopus or Researcher ID. Thirdly, use your ORCID ID. Include your ORCID ID identifier on your web page when you submit publications, apply for grants and in any research workflow to ensure you get credit for your work. If you need any assistance with any of the research identifiers or ORCID, please contact one of the librarians at UCT Libraries.